everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you this very handy tool that I got for the kitchen. So this thing makes a very quick work of slicing, julienning, and it even helps you dice things very quickly. So I'm really excited to try some new things out with this tool. So I'm going to take it down low here and I'm going to show you how easy it actually is to use. So I'm going to actually be showing you how this great little tool works. There's just so many things you can do with this and it is easy. So much easier than it would be to cut this with a knife. I can even make homemade chips with this. Now this is something that would be very hard to do to get thin enough slices with a knife. Not to mention it would probably take a really long time. So this is your slicer and everything that comes with it. This is very well made. So down here it has these little guides that actually help your fruits or vegetables slide straight down this. So these help keep everything moving where they're supposed to be. On the back here you have this very sturdy stand and on the feet it has rubber to help keep it from sliding around which is very nice. And there's also rubber feet on this end. This folds up for easy storage. It has a very nice handle here for holding on to so it doesn't move around. And when I'm using this, it's not moving at all. And then it has this nice red button here. You push this down and lift up and you can remove your attachments and put different ones in. And to put it in, you just kind of slide it down these guides here and it clicks in with this button. And I love this stand. I think this is great. It's a very nice addition to the set. So your attachments just slide in and out of these slots here and it sits on your counter just like this. But I really like this. I really think this is a great piece that comes with it. So you get five attachments with this set. So each attachment has a label here showing you the size of the cut that you will get from it. So the first one here is going to be the 1.5 millimeter. This is for cutting very thin slices. The next one here is 2.5 millimeters and this is going to give you medium size slices. The last one is 3.5 millimeters and this is going to give you thicker type slices. And the last two are for Julie Any. And this one is 3.5 millimeters thick and it will give you thinner julienne strips. And this one is seven millimeters and it will give you thicker julienne. You can see the blades here on the side. And it's just so great how they all fit back into their holder here. And then you have the guard. It has nice handles on each side to hold on to it. It also has these little notches here that hold on to the side of the mandolin to help it stay into place when you get down lower. Now another great thing about this is it has these spokes here that you put your vegetable on and it holds it there for you. And as you're sliding it down the mandolin, it's going to slowly push it out while you're pushing down on this, running it through. So I really like this piece and how well it works. So let's get down to business and use this thing. So you're going to want to put a cutting board underneath of this since all of your slices are going to fall under here. So I'm going to start with a potato and make some homemade potato chips. So you're going to take your potato and you're going to stake it on these little hooks here and you can see it holds the potato on there very well. It is not coming off until I'm ready. So what you're going to want to do with this is stand with it in front of you so you're looking at it this way. And you're going to just hold on to the handle here, putting some pressure down with your hand here on the handle holding it in place. And you just slide it back and forth. It's going to automatically cut it. And like I said before, these little guides that are going down the middle are going to keep your potato sliding in the right spot, which I just think is great. Now this goes really, really fast. As you get down to the bottom, 
you're putting pressure on the top, which is keeping those little stakes keeping going up with the potato as it gets smaller and smaller. Eventually, as you keep going down, you're going to end up sliding on these guides here. And once you get down to the bottom, that is all that's left of your potato, which is probably what you want to be throwing away anyhow. So underneath, we have all of our slices. Now, that was amazingly easy. So here they all are, all of the nice, thin, even slices. And that was like very quick and easy. Now, if you want thicker slices of potatoes, you have your 2.5 and 3.5 millimeter attachments. So you can make thicker slices and I'll show you the difference between those now. So here is the three different slices you'll get. This is the thinnest, medium, and large. So that's great that you can get so many different types so easily. So another really cool thing I can do with potatoes is make my own french fries. I could choose thin, crispy ones or I could do thicker ones. So for the thin ones, we're gonna use the 3.5 millimeter julienne attachment. And you can see these attachments are very easy to change quickly. So here is your julienne pieces. This would be great for carrots, you know, whatever you can think of for it. And I've also noticed that none of them ever come out like stuck together. They're always going to be fully cut. Okay, so with this last potato here, I'm going to try french fries. And this is what I got. Oh, this is my favorite kind of french fry. Like they have at McDonald's. So this is giving you a thicker julienne type cut. And this is going to be the size difference of your two different julienne type cuts. So here is all of the different sizes of potatoes you can cut with this one little thing. So one thing I wanted to mention about this is I know that they say that this machine can help you dice things. And I tried to figure this out because I really wanted to know if it could or not. With a little extra work, this can help you dice things. So you're gonna use your thickest julienne slicer and then you're going to need a knife and you're gonna just dice them as small as you want. So you can see we've got little dices of potatoes here now. It is very, very helpful with dicing as well. So I've also noticed that in between cutting different things, this is very simple to just rinse off and then move on to the next thing. So it is now ready to go for the next thing I wanna cut. So potato is probably one of the hard items you can cut where a tomato is very soft. And the potato goes through so fast and so easy. So now I'm gonna see how well it actually does with a sensitive tomato. I'm going to use the medium attachment for this. I'm going to put the stem up Give it a go. So that was what was left of my tomato. So here is all the slices it gave me in about five seconds. So very quick, very nice slices for a sandwich. Next I'm gonna try an onion here and I'm going to cut off the ends and peel it. Again, it's so fast and easy and perfect onion slices for a sandwich. So I've got a kiwi here, which is another very sensitive fruit. And again, very pretty slices in literally seconds. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm all the time trying to cut baby carrots for rice dishes. So I'm gonna try this on the medium slice setting. And I'm going to stick each carrot on one of the steaks here. So they actually went on this quite easy. Now let's see what happens in the slicer. And this is what I got out of it. 
perfect for my rice, my fried rice that I make. Oh, I love it. I take a lot of time trying to cut up carrots like this. They're so small and they usually try to roll right out of the knife. So the last final thing that I want to try with this is some cabbage. Now I'm really excited to make some slaw with this. My pile is piling. Oh my goodness, look at that. Very nice. So this is all that was left on my cabbage that I was cutting from. And I have got a whole pile of cabbage here that is the perfect size for making a slaw. So I was able to get all of this done with that one kitchen item. I'm just very happy with this and how well it works and how fast and easy it is to use. So yes, I am very, very happy with this mandolin. You know, I was really impressed with all that it can do and how much it can actually help me in the kitchen. Oh man, these have come out so good so far, the little french fries. Oh man. And these are the chips and I'm making hash browns. Everything that I made here today has been really good, really fun to make, and very easy.